up everybody welcome back to another badass episode of mudbugminitrucks.com today we're bringing you a 2013 deck van this is the Hatsu deck van it's one of those five seaters and I got so much to talk about today so bear with me there's a lot a lot of upgrades I'd like to give a quick shout out to my friend the Murphys and appreciation for building this really 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 fine truck let's go ahead and get into it guys check out this guy is a professional skeet shooter so he does a lot of tournaments and uh, because his, uh, he's such a good shot, we decided we'd go ahead and name the truck the Hitman. You may be able to see that up there. And this will be the first of a kind for, uh, for me, at least building a truck that, uh, that's going to be going to a tournament for shooting. Anyway, check it out, guys. Custom-made front bumper. Really, really nice. I know we're going to have some glare, guys, because the sun is coming around. But you can see we did some directional lighting. So these lights can actually be turning left or right. And we got a 24 inch curved LED. Now he does hunt a lot of pheasant and that's what we geared the paint job off of. You can see right there, this is his golden retriever. And what he does basically is shoot the pheasants and his little dog go get. And really, really beautiful paintwork guys. I'm just getting better and better. See the skyline back there, I got a pheasant jumped up. And the whole truck is sprayed in bed liner as you can see right here. And you can see the texture of the bed liner glistening real nice in the sun. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Let's go back down to the tires like usual. And today we're going to be running a set of 25 inch uh, buzzsaw tires, or I think these are buzzsaw ripsaw. And uh, again, guys, I don't know the rims. I got so many of them. But you can check them out on mudbugminitrucks.com. I got about 50 different rims. You see, we powder coated the springs, the coils. I don't know if we'll be able to get them back there, but we did the rotors. And I'll show you the drum in the rear. But again, guys, take a look at the artwork. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Detail is just phenomenal look at that and the, his business is gunrollgunrest.com and that's his trademark right there guys and what it is is basically his guns uh, when he goes to the shooting uh, to these uh, tournaments they just lean their guns against the truck and uh, he's invented a uh, stop for that and I'll point that out to you guys shortly anyway you'll see back here we got a Settler back here, he sees these uh, these pheasants back here. Check them out, he sees them. And he's thinking, man, I'm gonna get me one of those birds. He's, he hasn't given up on the hunt. The hunter has, as you can see, we've got some bad weather setting in back here. Lightning strikes and such, but the dog is fixed on hunting. Just beautiful, beautiful work. Let's see if I can get a little bit more work here too, guys. Check this out. You see the great detail. Just really sharp, even the grass. Everything is hand done individual straws again let's see if i can get some of that color oh, let's see if i can get some of that color for the drum in the rear i don't know if i can or not anyway we're going to scoot around scoot around the back and check it out guys it is texas made and this truck is staying right here right home in texas and i put a set of cowboy boots in the back with a cowboy hat in the texas store it's the lone star state just really really awesome we pay so much attention to the small things and of course we've got the bumper and the trailer hitch receiver you might even notice the shotgun shells. I put them on every handle. This is a little something to add a little flare here and there on it. And I'm going to go over the back of the tailgate. And I'm going to show you what we put back here. Check this out, guys. Adjustable gun racks. So what's happening is you can put all four guns back here. You just unstrap these. And you can rest the gun towards the cab. So it uh, keeps the gun good and steady. And this corner, you'll notice, also did a snorkel. Again, guys, there's so much. I hope I don't overlook but you can see we put a snorkel back here so it breathes really, really good. And you might say, hey, Mr. Mudbug, how can I get me one of those trucks? Check it out, mudbugminitrucks.com, 832-951-5220. Got about 25 trucks in inventory. Take a look and see if you can find something you like. And then we're gonna back out again. We're just gonna get into this side, which is a whole different animal. And again, guys, you can see I did the sky. We got the hunter back here. As a pheasant jumps up, boom. He's gonna take the shot and get this self Get yourself a pheasant for the day. Again, straw grass, you can see the claws, that three-dimensional look. And again, we got a couple pheasants growing in the background here, just taking off. Let me see, maybe I can show you a little bit better here because the sun's not so bright. But see how we powder coated the drums and the rotors? And again, guys, take a look at the work. It's just, just beautiful. A lot of this stuff is airbrush and some of it is hand brush. And again, we back out a little bit too. We did tent all the windows, as you can see right here. It's all legal tent. I didn't want to get too dark so you can drive it at night without any trouble. And again, guys, this is his product right here, Gunroll 
gunrest.com and I'm going to show you that product when I'm finished. And uh, again up here you can see put a set of pheasant feet and I did that on both mirrors. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the inside so you can see what we've done here because again guys there's so much stuff. It's just unbelievable. Take a look at this custom interior. Man you're talking about gorgeous. And again this is just the back. We're going to go to the front. Look at this. Just just beautiful diamond plate flooring. It's that hydro turf. You just take a garden hose to it. You might hear that sound going in the back. I'm going to turn that down. That's actually, this is actually a movie we have playing in this van. During the tournaments, he sits down. There's a lot of dead time. I turn this air conditioning off so you can hear me a little better. Truck is running. But you can see, we're watching the quick and the dead. And uh, just freaking awesome, bro. Awesome. And that, that, this TV also has a backup camera, so you can put it in reverse and you'll see what's behind you. But that's the movie we got playing, as you see right here. And again, guys, five speed, AC heat, got adjustable headlights, the truck is mint condition. Check out these seats, guys, look at this. What I did is I took his vest that he wears to shoot with, and I turned it into a seat covering, HD vinyl. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I can't even explain how good a work Jesse and my guys did. Take a look at this guy. Just gorgeous, man. Just gorgeous. And again, guys, easy maintenance because you do have this uh, hydro turf. You just take a garden hose and wash it out. And the truck does have bed liner sprayed all the way up to behind the headrest. And of course, where you rest your arms on the doors, all this stuff sprayed bed liner as well. See that? So it keeps your hands clean. I mean, keeps your door panels clean. The truck does have power windows all the way around. And man, I tell you, it's so much. There's so much. It's hard for me to even remember. But dude, this thing's actually got surround sound. Let's see if I can actually turn this up a little bit. More three thousand dollars in four states. Check it out. Seventy-five offenses and no convictions. Check it out. Got the speakers mounted on the roof. Just. Awesome. Everyone calls me the kid. Congratulations. Oh, no, man, guys, it's hard to see all this stuff here, but anyway, I wanted you guys to have a look and see. Just freaking awesome. And just to show you how clean the work is, I don't even know what we do with the lights. Tail feathers off a duck's ass at 300 Oh, right here. I didn't even notice it. It's so clean. Still be back in bed. That's it right there. He didn't have a need for a winch, so we didn't put one. But that's about the only thing missing uh, out of the truck. Just beautiful. And guys, if you need a truck, you can reach us at mudbugminitrucks.com. And look, guys, right now I have about 23 trucks sitting on the ground. They're three, four deep. Uh, that, that drum truck there, right there is sold. Uh, but I do have about 23 on the ground, and I have 11 more coming. i got a couple deck vans. I'm out of dump trucks at this time, but I've got more coming. i got that one blue one right there that is available. And, guys, if you're not hitting subscribe, hit the subscribe button uh, below so you can have the... Uh, uh, so you'll be able to see all the videos that are coming in the future. We have a lot of great content. I have truck after truck coming, and they're all just sick. This is probably one of the, the sickest trucks I've ever built right here. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I love when the owner of the truck lets me, uh, lets me run off and do what I want with it. You know, it's, it gives me an idea and just says run with it and lets me have my, my way with it. And this is what I came up with. Now I'm going to take a second here, and I'm going to put his product in this, in this video. So you can see what it looks like. I'm going to just set it on the windshield right here. Hopefully we can get a little bit of video content on it. And I got one of them out of the box. So, basically this is what it's going to look like when it comes in the box. It's a foam wrap. Basically you can hang this on your gas tank or your mirror, which I've done in the little deck van here. And uh, it's uh, you put the stock on the ground and then you lean the barrel against your car. We've all been there where we've taken the barrel, uh, uh, the, the gun, and leaned it against the side of our car and it slid down and scratched the car and knocked the scope off. But check it out, guys. You just take the little cord, wrap it over the mirror, maybe the gas can on your truck, anything you can hang it on. Hell, even a tree branch. But it's a nice area. It doesn't slide. It's a good, uh, good area right here for the, for the slots for your rifle. And you can pick that up, guys, right here at gunrollgunrest.com. Anyway, guys, I'm going to back out. 
let you guys at the rest of the video man i appreciate y'all looking don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, hit the little bell below and that's going to give you a notification let you know another badass video came out but star of the show today is the hitman i'm gonna go ahead and go around this side this is where i always finish out my videos anyway guys i hope i covered everything thank y'all so much for viewing as usual y'all take care howdy from texas and god bless you